So one thing that I really value about uh, our professional relationship, which is becoming also more of a professional uh, relationship, is that uh, Dr. Bonev and I work, work closely uh, together very well, not only just in the, in the office, uh, but also in the operating room. Uh, if there's patients that uh, there, there's a question that she and I may have, we can easily bounce it off of one another. We're always available for each other in the operating room if there's ever a tough case and oh, either one of us needs an extra hand. Or even if you're in the middle of a case and something you know is uh, you know unexpected, it's always nice to know that you have a partner who, who's available and willing and, and, and close by uh, to be able to help out. And it's also great for, for patients if there's something that I may or may not be 100% certain about, I can reach out to my colleague who, who, who may be a, a door down and kind of get a second opinion on the spot for Patient. Yeah, that's the great thing is when you're working in an environment, you want to collaborate with someone, you have a partner who's there, you can run ideas by, run patients by, uh, discuss cases with, help each other in the operating room when we're available. And that's really particularly important in patients with breast cancer, breast care, to have that team approach. Right. So I think that that's super important and um, it's a, a great value to us and the patients. Yeah. And another great thing about Breastlink, not just having two surgeons, we have medical oncologists on site, we have multiple radiologists on site, we can review imaging, we can review them with the patient and the radiologist right there on the spot. Sometimes we'll be reviewing images and we'll see something that we're not quite certain about. We can leave the room and be back within a, within a couple minutes with an answer to what, what we see there. And, and not, a lot of not a lot of institutions necessarily have that availability. Uh, so I think that's something that's uh, an additional benefit to, to our patients. That's right, the radiologists, for instance, they're literally down the hallway from us. So they're right. physically right next to us. Um, anytime we have a patient, we need to go over imaging, ask questions, what do you think about that area on the mammogram and so forth. They'll discuss it with us. And then I can go to the patient and say, I looked at your imaging, I talked with the radiologist, this is what our plan is gonna be, whether that be biopsy, more imaging, or clinical exam and so forth. And patients really appreciate that. Right. Like today I had a patient where the same radiologist did her initial imaging, then did her biopsy, and it was a great experience for the patient. She had that continuity of care. I got to see her before and after the biopsy. We're able to review everything. It was a little bit of a complex case, so it was great that I had already touched base with the radiologist, and then I checked in with her again, and the patient really appreciates that yeah. communication. Yeah, and teamwork, and um, knowing that there is more than one head, so to speak, working on the case, is always reassuring for patients. And, and to that point, we, we have a multidisciplinary tool board that we put on every week where we discuss all our new cancer cases and we, we come together as a team, we put all our heads together. Sometimes, usually we agree, sometimes we have some disagreements and we try to work those out in a way that's best for the patient. And um, we, we value each other's opinions, whether we have contradictory opinions or not, it's important for the patient to understand what we're all thinking and where we all come from. And uh, then we can offer that, that information to the patient and help them make a decision that's best for them. Because every, every decision may not be the right decision for each particular patient. Every patient has a unique situation that they're in. So it's good for them to be able to be a part of our multidisciplinary discussion uh, when it comes to their care. That's the unique thing about breast cancer care. It's very individualized, very specialized. It, it's not cookie cutter anymore. And I think it's great for a patient. It definitely does make things more complex, but it's very personalized. And it's all about bottom line, the best possible care for the patients. Right, absolutely. We try to provide our patients with as much information as possible. Um, in, in, in our office, there's no such thing as too much information. I feel that the more information a patient has, the more empowered they are to make the right decision for themselves. It's all about um, treating the whole body. So obviously, we are breast surgeons, we focus on breast disease, but we are taking into account their whole medical history, their kind right. of background, um, if there's any social factors or financial, financial issues, and then we can offer them resources, and all of this really just helps them get um, you know, the appropriate care. Yeah, and uh, speaking of uh, resources, we have a program at Breastlink called the Breastlink Angels. It is a totally free uh, service that is staffed by volunteer breast cancer survivors. And it's something that we offer to all of our cancer patients. They provide support, they can join in on visits, take notes, uh, but a uh, very important free service for our patients that I think is something uh, that isn't offered everywhere and is, is quite frankly invaluable. 
And um, I know Dr. Bonev and I are very proud to be a part of that program and to be able to offer that to our patients. The unique thing about this program, which there are volunteer programs at other institutions, but the unique thing about this is that it is individualized to the patient. So they will match up a patient with a volunteer who maybe they're both young patients, they both have young kids. And that definitely plays into um, how the patient's gonna go through uh, their treatment and affects them not only, but their family as well. So it's really individualized.